The spectrophotometer that you can see on the screen right now is that of a single beam spectrophotometer. So first we have to switch it on. If we see closely, it has a few buttons on it. We have to go to the go to lambda button using which we can set the wavelength at which we want to measure our samples by using the up and down buttons for setting the wavelength. When we switch on the spectrophotometer, it takes a little time to calibrate and initialize. As you can see on the screen, it is written self test. This means that the spectrophotometer is calibrating and getting initialized. So we have to wait for a little time until it happens. Okay, so now it says that press any key. So I will just press any key and it will show up for setting the wavelength. So after waiting for a few seconds, the screen will appear where I can set the wavelength and start measuring my samples. As you can see. Now let's say I want to set the wavelength to 600 nanometers. So this is how we can do it. So I will just click on the button go to lambda and then by using the up and down buttons I am going to set the wavelength at 600 nanometers. Now this wavelength can vary according to the experiment. It can be any wavelength according to the quantitative estimation you are doing. So for this example I am taking the example of 600 nanometers. So this is how we do it 600 nanometers and then we have to click on the set button. And after clicking on the set button, 600 nanometer will appear on the screen. Now, this is the flap of the spectrophotometer. When we open it, you can see tiny slots. In this slot, we have to place our sample using a cubit, which we are going to see in a while. Now, this glass tube that you can see on the screen, this is called a cubit. So this cubit has two sides. One is transparent side and one is opaque side. So when we are placing the cubit inside the slot, we have to make sure that the transparent side is along the side of the slit because we want that the light is passed through it. If you will just place the cubit in such a manner that the opaque side is in the path of the slit, then that will obstruct the light entry and the measurement will not be proper. So this is how you place it as I have already discussed in the class using a diagrammatic representation also. Okay, so when we put the sample in the slot using this cubit, so we just place the sample inside, put the sample inside the cubit and place this cubit inside the slot and then we close the flap. The absorbance value, that is the amount of light absorbed by the particular molecule in the sample is reflected on the screen. We can note this value in our notebook for further calculations. Now this is a double beam spectrophotometer. We have already discussed its principle in the class. As you can see on your screen, it is initializing and getting calibrated. We wait for some time for this to happen. This also has certain buttons on the screen which almost have the same function as we saw in the single beam spectrophotometer. So we have to go on the photometric that is number one by using the buttons on the meter and then we have to again set photometric and then set. So this is what you will see on the screen. So here again using the go to lambda button we can set the wavelength whichsoever we want to measure our samples on. Let's say we want to set 660 nanometers so that is reflected on the screen right now and then we can just open the flap and use the cubit. So this is the cubit box. So we can open the cubit box and take out the cubit out of it. And in this cubit, we can place our sample whatsoever it is. Beer Lambert's law we have already discussed in the class. So this cubit will be placed inside the slot. And then the flap will be closed. Again, it is to mention here that we have to make sure that the transparent side is along the path of the light because we don't want any obstruction of the light through the sample. So then we close the flap and whatever the reading will be there for the sample will be displayed on the screen which we can note down in our notebooks.